Shalom. Kohala Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shah, Bahashim Rahakwadash, the honor side teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the Hofi elect. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Lord, when this lesson is edifying and straight to the point, yeah, who can but prophesy, man? Pretty much shedding light on the intents and purposes that the Lord has for this lifetime, you know, for the lack of better terms. Because if you was to consider the ancient times, the times of Noah, you know, the times in Egypt, or even Sodom and Gomorrah, the intents and purposes of the Lord concerning those periods of time has already been made known. And at times of Noah, his intents and purposes was to bring the flood to destroy the wicked from out the face of the earth. And at times of Egypt, he raised up Pharaoh to ultimately show his power in the earth, man, that it is a power in Israel. You see? And even when you consider the times of Sodom and Gomorrah, where the Lord sent forth fire and brimstone to destroy that city and those neighboring cities, that took on the likeness of Sodom and Gomorrah. Those were the intents and purposes of the Lord concerning those periods of time. But when you consider now, you know, America being erected and you consider life as you know it right now, well, what would be the intents and purposes of the Lord for this lifetime? Well, to ultimately destroy America from off the face of the earth, seeing that this is the destroying mountain, man. This place is responsible <laughs> for catastrophic destructions that is taking place over the uh, throughout the four corners of the earth and rape, rob, rape, robbing, and pilgrimaging nations, destroying infrastructures, destroying civilizations. Well, America will be responsible for that uh, uh, islands of plastic in the ocean, whales and dolphins and sharks beaching themselves. You know, chemtrail, massive sickness in the planet Earth ultimately comes from America being in power, man. Real quick, this is the book of Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 51 and verse 25 <clears throat> he said behold I am against thee O destroying mountain said the Lord see so yeah how about Shema was shot a God of the Bible which this is a living document he's against this current rule this current you know rulership man which is America this regime man this country you know seeing this place holds the influence of the planet earth the Lord said I am against thee O destroying mountain Said the Lord, which destroys all the earth, you see, because this place is responsible for destroying the planet Earth, man. The condition the earth is in the worst condition possible, you know, it could ever be in under the rulership of the wicked. Even when you consider the morality of the people, it's continually, you know, it's decaying, man. You even have kids now that's confused on their genders because of the wicked being in power, man. You see. He said, which destroys all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rock, saying it because this place is at an exalted state. So this place has to be rolled down. There's no other, you know, no other place that America can go, man. Seeing that this place has already reached its height. So only where, you know, only, only place it can, can go is down, man. You see, he said, I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. See? Yeah, and how is this place going to be made a burnt mountain? By way of those hypersonic missiles, man. In which that's the intents and purposes of the Lord to pretty much bring forth those missiles, man. To destroy America from off the face of the earth. You see? Um, let's grab this. It's the book of Second Ezra. Uh, 15 and 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in their mouth, said the Lord. And this is what separates the God of the Bible from any other God out there in the planet Earth, man. That these people try to, you know, hold fast to prophecy, man. You see? Because the Lord warns you of these things. Buddha didn't warn you of a famine. Buddha didn't warn you of the missiles. Shiva didn't warn you of the missiles. You didn't flip a Torah card and America will soon be destroyed. Was on the back of it. No. Yeah, how about Shinawa Sha warned you of this, man? You see? And this is what separates him from the other guys. It's prophecy, man. 
You see, he said, cause them to be written in the paper for they are faithful and true. And what's found within the prophecies, man? The destruction of America. You see, real quick, this book of uh, 2 Ezra 16 and verse 4. He said, a fire is sent among you, and whom may quench it? And who is this fire sent among us? Ultimately, it's sent towards America, man. Seeing that all the nations under the planet Earth has missiles pointed at this place, man. You see? He said, plagues are sent unto you, and what shall he, and what is he that may drive them away? May a man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble? When it began to burn, may one turn uh, turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent the plagues. You see, yeah, how about Shemuel Shah is going to be the one to orchestrate the destruction of America, man, which is going to come by way of a series of plagues. You're going to have the famine, the blackouts, the insurrection, seditions, you know, the Karagma, which is the, that new monetary system. You know, and then the missiles, man. You see? So this he said the mighty Lord sent the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? Yeah, it's not a priest, neighborhood activist, motivational speakers. Nothing can come up against the will of the Heavenly Father to stop the momentum of prophecy. You see? Nobody can drive it away. Buddha can't. Shiva. Jesus. Allah. Nobody can't, man. You see? He said, a fire is sent amongst you. So like a, a fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? You see? um, Yeah, just keep reading. He said, he shall cast lightning. And who shall not fear? He shall thunder. And who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence You see in the Lord is strength The Lord has a death threat to America man And you're hearing it by way of the prophets The prophets of Yahweh by Shema Is the ones who's declaring The overthrow of America man You see he said The earth quaketh And the foundations thereof The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep And the waves of it are troubled And the fishes thereof also Before the Lord And before the glory of his power. You see, everything pretty much upon the pan earth is going to tremble at the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. He said, For strong is his uh for strong is his right hand that bended the bow, saying that it's going to be the Lord that's going to send forth this destruction. Because it's his right hand that bended the bow, ultimately Yahweh Shai. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. And what is the arrows of the Lord? Pretty much those hypersonic missiles, man. Yeah, and they're capable of destroying continents, man. You see, and you having 200 million nurses that's going to come visit America. So seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye be in all holy conversation to God in this age? We, uh, we behoove you to repent and return to the Lord if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Indian. Because these things is gradually making, uh, making their way into planet Earth. You see? He saying, shall not miss... When they begun to be shot into the ends of the world. Yeah, you see, we are in the ends of the world. Seeing America sit on the west. <laughs> you see? This is the place where the sun set, man. Where the credits roll. Yeah, this is the west, man. And the milkers is going to fly to the end of the world. <laughs> you see? He said, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled. And shall not be put out till they consume the foundation of the earth, like as an art, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returning not backwards. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. You see, so the Lord Yahweh Bashemah shot the powers of heaven and earth has declared an overthrow, you know, for America, man. And he's going to make a hey, the Lord said he's not a man that he should lie. You people are going to experience the uh, the intents and purposes of the Lord, man. You see, you're going to see his works pretty much when America is destroyed. You see, because when you consider these people here in America, when you bring up the works of the Lord, <laughs> they think it's birds and airplanes. Or, 
You know, they consider nature water. Damn, this is the Lord's creation, man. The Lord is beautiful. The sky, the you know, the clouds in which, yeah, those are the creations of the Lord, but the creations of Yahweh Bashinah Shai get even more intense to the point where the scriptures even call them terrible, man. You see, real quick. This is Psalms 66 and verse 5. <laughs> he said, Come and see the works of the Most High. Yeah, when you see missiles, when you see these uh these nations parading their missiles, you know, when they doing missile tests, missiles, lunch, and all those are the works of the Lord, man. You see, the Lord created them the smith. He said he blowed the coal. So the Lord created the smith and the smith created the missiles, man. But all goes back to your how about Shnau Shah. You see, come see the works of the Most High. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. Yeah, even when you consider natural disasters, those are the works of the Lord, man. Volcano eruptions, F5 tornadoes, you know, massive hurricanes, destroying winds. Those are the works of your how about Shnau Shah. You see? So the Lord is not in the box. His works ranges even to a hypersonic missile. You know? And you're going to see the works of Yahweh by Shemal Shai pretty much take place right here in America when this place is completely destroyed from out the face of the earth in which that's the perfect intense. That's the intents and purposes of the Lord. You know, real quick, because when you read Romans, the ninth chapter, in verse 17, he said, for this scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up? Because, yeah, he's speaking on Pharaoh. But even when you consider right now, he's telling Esau, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up? For He said, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, in which the Lord sent forth Moses and Aaron, the, uh, the, uh, pretty much prophesied against Pharaoh and his kingdom, that the Lord was going to bring him down. But with the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. To still try to come after the children of Israel for that to be fulfilled, in which he's going to do the same thing to Esau and Edom, man. Yep, he said, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I may show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth, because the Lord, Yahweh Bashanah Shai, is going to get the glory for destroying America. Because his prophets was the ones that came out and warned of it, of it man. You know? So just like the Lord has risen up Pharaoh to pretty much overthrow him, it's the same purpose the Lord rose up Esau Edom to pretty much overthrow him by way of a violent nuclear holocaust, man. Whether you hear for bell, like it, believe it or not, man. And we behoove you to repent, you so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Indians, and return to the Lord in order to escape the danger, man. Because it's going to come through a, a, a plethora of events, man. You see, the Lord tell you how perilous times should come. So the Lord has scenarios designed to pretty much come and consume this place and the people that's here on this land, man. You know, but I just wanted to speak on it through the spirit power. Yeah, how about Shema Washah? Lord, when it's edifying to the elect to those who seek salvation, Lord, Yahweh Washah. In this video, Shalom.